Um, I found this, this small project um, while I was looking for, for a difficult um, task for, for applicants to solve. And I, this is not my project, but I, I still feel it's, um, it's so exciting for various reasons that I need to share it with you. Um, first, a um, slightly odd question. What do we like about Java? So there are so many reasons to love Java. No, the package nesting, the endless folders to click through, the, the, the amazing syntax where you just um, waste so much time typing or generating templates code. Um, but that's, for me, the, that's not the most beautiful part. The most beautiful part for me is, in the end, uh, because of the, the runtime. Yeah, Like what Hotspot did over the years and uh, uh, technological VM advances, the speed of it, that is actually truly amazing. But the, the real power of, of Java is, is the ecosystem, no? For example, if you don't like Java, then you don't need to use Java. You use Scala or you use Kotlin or whatever it is. So there is real power. And then the, the vastness of the enterprise libraries and other libraries open source, this is pretty amazing. And here I'm seeing something with, with this um, high dialect that goes in the same direction that actually um, makes Python platform, which is pretty cool and pretty um, exciting from my point of view. So what I want to do is just give you very quickly, um, yeah, just uh, what what you could do with with high or or just that, it, that it's there and that you should try it because it's um, it's fun times. Okay, so this is everybody here should know this from the first Python primer ever. This is the the smallest I guess Flask app that you can write. So how does this thing work? Oh, excellent. First, you import some Flask, then you create a Flask app, then you create a route. So if you go to your browser to slash, then this function will be run, this handler, and it will return this, this beautiful string. And at the end, um, you, something needs to start this, so you start the development server and then hope that you don't have more than two users. All right. There's the same thing in Hi. So um, if you know this, then you know it's a lot about parentheses. Um, and that means you probably should parentheses on your home row, know so that you those faster and then in, install a plugin and so on. But that's not the point. The point here is, this is the same. So this thing actually imports Python code and makes Python code works. And that means that you only have to learn a bit of Lisp. <laughs> you don't have to learn the entire standard library of whatever high and Lisp and so on and so on and so on. You can use your Python stuff. And you can experiment with this new language and make it run and, and experiment with macros and all these crazy things that Lisp introduces and make that work. And if you if you find something where, for example, you, you just would want to, to create a DSL, something that is more specific to your problem, just a Lisp, yeah? and, and all the, the Python libraries that are out there, it is just you know, so easy to do. You just import this stuff. This is pretty amazing. So what do we have? Same thing. You import Flask. You have a variable here. It's it's a bit more you know verbose than in Python. Um, you have root. Uh, it's big, you can read it the same thing. If you take the parentheses away, this is Python. Except for for stuff like this, um, a tiny macro that um, uh, is basically the the decorator replacement in high. And then. This is super fantastic. It goes the other way around too. So first you import high in Python. This is Python code. Yeah? Then um, this this modifies the the, the meta path. So that means that afterwards you can just import high modules. So the the high code that we just saw this is being imported here, and then you run it. So it goes both ways, and you can write this code and you do use uh, Python code in there and in your Python code. And it, so this is like like with the JVM, you can do, and this is fantastic, I think. Yeah. So if you want to, um, to learn more, just do pip install hi. It's done, and you can find more uh, documentation there. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you.